Why don't we ever tell secrets at a bank? Because it's full of tellers. Now that we've started the day with a chuckle, we're ready to tackle something a bit more serious, yet just as intriguing. We're about to embark on a journey through the maze of personal finance. We promise it's not as intimidating as it sounds. And who knows, you might even find it fun. So with that lighthearted opener out of the way, let's dive right into the world of personal finance. The first step in understanding personal finance involves knowing what it really is. So what is personal finance? Well, in simple terms, personal finance is all about managing your money. It's the process of budgeting, saving, investing, spending, or otherwise overseeing the capital usage of an individual or a family. It's about striking a balance between your income, which is the money you earn, and your expenses, which are the things you spend your money on. But it's not just about the now. Personal finance also involves planning for the future. It's about ensuring that you're prepared for life's many curveballs. From unexpected medical bills to sudden job losses, or even those pleasant surprises like a dream vacation or a new addition to the family. It's about making sure you're financially secure, not just today but tomorrow, and many tomorrows after that. Personal finance is important because it's integral to our everyday lives. Every decision we make from grabbing a cup of coffee on the way to work to buying a house has financial implications. Understanding personal finance can help us make informed decisions, setting us on the path to financial independence and stability. And remember, personal finance is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It's personal, as the name suggests. It's tailored to your income, your expenses, your lifestyle, and your financial goals. Now that we have a clear picture of what personal finance is, it's time to get started on managing our own. Personal finance starts with setting financial goals. It's like embarking on a journey. Without a destination in mind, you'll end up going in circles. And in the realm of finance, this could mean stagnation or worse, a downward spiral. So, how do we avoid this? By setting financial goals. These are the milestones you want to reach on your financial journey. They give your money a sense of purpose and direction. Financial goals usually fall into two categories, short-term and long-term. Short-term goals are things you want to achieve in the next one to three years, like saving for a vacation or paying off a credit card. Long-term goals, on the other hand, are your big-picture objectives. These could be saving for retirement or buying a home. Remember, your goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, or SMART for short. With clear financial goals, you have a target to aim for. Now, how do we reach that target? The cornerstone of personal finance is budgeting. With that being said, let's dive into the world of budgeting. Budgeting is like a roadmap for your money. It guides you on how to allocate your resources, keeping you focused on your financial goals and ensuring you're not spending money that you don't have. So, how do you create a budget? Well, it's simpler than it sounds. First, you need to determine your income. This includes your salary, any freelance work, investments, and any other forms of income. Remember, the more accurate your income figure, the better. Next, you calculate your expenses. Start with your fixed expenses. These are the ones that don't change from month to month. Think rent, car payments, or insurance. Then move on to your variable expenses like groceries, dining out, or entertainment. Be honest with yourself. If you're spending $50 a week on coffee, jot that down. Once you have your income and expenses mapped out, it's time to do some math. Subtract your expenses from your income. Positive number? Great. You're living within your means. Negative number? Don't sweat it. This just means it's time to make some adjustments. Now, this is where the real magic happens. Once you know where your money is going, you can start to make conscious decisions about how to spend it. Maybe that means choosing to cook at home more often, or maybe it means setting aside a little extra for that dream vacation. The point is, you're in control. And here's the key. A budget isn't set in stone. It's a living, breathing thing that changes as your life changes. Got a raise? Update your budget. Paying off a loan? Update your budget. It's all about staying flexible and adapting to life's ups and downs. The role of a budget in achieving your financial goals cannot be overstated. It's like a financial GPS, guiding you towards your goals and helping you make informed decisions along the way. Remember, a budget is not a restriction, but a financial game plan. It's about empowering you to make the most of your money and ultimately live the life you want. Once you have a budget, the next step is saving and investing. Now, why is saving important? Well, it's like a safety net. It's there to catch you when you fall. And let's be honest, life often throws curveballs. Unexpected expenses, job loss, medical emergencies. These are realities we must prepare for. That's where your emergency fund comes in. 
Aim for an emergency fund that can cover three to six months of living expenses. Now let's talk about investing. Saving a loan won't make you wealthy. You need your money to work for you, and that's what investing does. It's about growing your money, about letting it sprout wings and fly, but it's not without risks. So, it's important to understand your risk tolerance and investment goals. There's a whole world of investment options out there. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, and even digital currencies. Each has its own potential for reward and risk. Stocks can offer high returns but come with higher risks. Bonds are safer but offer modest returns. Mutual funds let you diversify your investments, and real estate can provide a steady income stream. And digital currencies? Well, they're the wild west of investing, high risk, high reward. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. What works for one person may not work for another. It's about finding a balance that works for you. Saving and investing are the key to building wealth and securing your financial future. Debt is a part of life, but it doesn't have to control you. It's like a double-edged sword. It can help you achieve your goals faster, but if not managed properly, it could lead to financial ruin. The key is effective management. First and foremost, understand your debt. Know how much you owe, the interest rate attached, and your repayment schedule. This clarity forms the basis of your debt management plan. Secondly, prioritize your debts. High interest debts, such as credit cards, should be paid off first to minimize the total interest you'll pay. Next, consider strategies to lower your debt. This might mean consolidating various debts into one lower interest rate loan or negotiating with your creditors for better terms. Finally, create a budget that includes debt repayment as a fixed expense. This will ensure you stay on track and eventually eliminate your debt. Managing debt effectively allows you to take control of your finances and move closer to your financial goals. So, we've covered quite a bit today. We've navigated the world of personal finance, from understanding its importance to setting achievable financial goals. We've explored the art of budgeting and the rewarding practice of saving and investing. We've also tackled the often daunting task of managing debt. These are the building blocks of a solid financial foundation. Remember, personal finance is a journey, not a destination. Start today and take control of your financial future.